Most important part of a good breakfast is eggs. So we've got four different ways of cooking the eggs here, haven't we? We've got scrambled, poached, fried, and of course the omelette. So we're gonna look at those all individually. So for fried eggs, we're gonna cook them on the induction stove. I've got a good bit of oil in the pan there, nice clean fresh oil. So let's turn the induction stove on and get it onto the setting that we want. There we go, we're on 400. So we press the button here to turn it on, press this button here to switch it to the power level that we want, and then we go down to two, to 400, and that'll stay on there for two hours. You can see it flicks backwards and forwards between four and two, that's the time it takes to, to stay on. So if it goes off on you, all you need to do is turn it back on again, and it'll come back onto that setting. So we need to let that oil warm up now, and then we'll pop an egg in and show you what happens. So our oil's now hot, let's get an egg in. You can see how it starts to coagulate straight away and go white, but it's not frying really, really mentally and going really golden brown around the edge. This is almost comfy in the egg, so it's not actually cooking it in a hot oil, it's just cooking it nice and slowly. So what will happen is that white will cook through nicely, warm that egg yolk up really nicely as well and then once we get it onto the plate you'll still see the nice sunny side up effect on the egg. Poached eggs. So for this we're going to need some boiling water on a rolling boil, about two capsules of white wine vinegar and some nice fresh eggs, preferably cold out of the fridge that'll help them get a nice shape once they get into the water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crack the egg and I'm going to place it on top of the water and then let it just drop in naturally out of the eggshell and what will happen there is it'll drop through the water and start cooking as it goes through the water and form a nice teardrop shape. So that'll go in there for about two minutes and I'll show you what it's like when it comes out. So our poached eggs have been in there for about two minutes now so let's lift it out. Really nice shape on there. Always drain it onto a J cloth to get any excess water off it and then let's take it over to the pass. So once the poached egg's drained really nicely onto that cloth, onto the plate, and then if we cut the egg, you can see it's got a beautiful runny centre, runny yolk, and the white's nice and firm. So let's do scrambled egg this time, very similar to an omelette, so you need your pan nice and hot, and this time we're gonna use butter instead of oil. Seasoned egg mix in. And this time we're gonna keep that stirring, keep it stirring, keep it stirring all the time. Until we get it maybe three quarters cooked, then we're gonna add a splash of cream, splash of double cream into there. This arrests the cooking process, so stops the egg cooking. It's going to make our scrambled leg really nice and light and fluffy as well. So let's make an omelette. I've got my seasoned scrambled egg mix, a little bit of oil in the pan, Move the oil around the pan so it goes up the sides as well. Double mix in. Keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving until it wants to set itself. Then remove it from the heat and pop it under the grill for a second. Once it's been under the grill but still slightly undercooked, There we go, our omelette's ready, less than a minute. So here we have the omelette, the scrambled egg, the fried egg, and the poached eggs, and there we go.
perfect eggs for a perfect breakfast.